Hello, my name is Mariah and today I'm going to be demoing how to make a custom light switch plate cover for your room. I find that custom light switch plates are a nice touch when decorating. You can pick any kind of a style you want, like more of an electrical cover, two switch plates, whatever you like. For demoing today, I'm going to use a new more panel switch plate, like this style. And what I like to do first is I take a blank piece of paper and the switch plate that I've chosen and I outline it, I, tra out I trace it with a pencil. And you can use, you know, you can take off the switch plates that are already in your home and upcycle them and use them. Or you can buy new ones if you want. It just depends if it's for your own home or if you're maybe making a gift for someone. Okay, so I've outlined my switch plate style. And what I do next is take a clear plastic ruler and I add a quarter inch allowance all the way around. So a quarter up top, a quarter on the right side, a quarter inch on the bottom and a quarter inch on the left side. That way you have allowance to wrap around onto the underside of the switch plate so that it fully covers. Okay, so see like this. Then next, I take my scissors and I cut out my template, you know, on the outside line. And this is just for, you know, your template's good because you can measure onto the real paper that you're going to use for your background and you know what size you have to be working in which is important because you don't want to do some neat artwork on your switch plate and then it gets cut off when you actually apply your background. Okay, so now you have a piece that looks like this. And to pick out the background, today I'm just using a scrapbooking notepad and I'm going to pick out a paper that I like out of here. This book comes with some interesting designs, but I'm going to pick one of these that's just more of an overall pattern and not so specific. Okay, so now I've picked my background paper. I'm going to take my template and I'm going to trace onto my paper what's going to now be my real background. like this. And this is my switch plate style that I'm using. So what I like to do is kind of put it on here and center and then I just kind of mark lightly what the center is so that I remember where the artwork's going to get cut off at. The theme that I'm picking for my background today is for a baby room that's blue, yellow, and green. And when you decide to decorate, you can really use anything. You could use stamps, stickers, adhesive rhinestones, whatever you want to decorate with. I'm going to use a clear silicone stamp and some non-toxic paint. So, I'm applying my ink to my stamp just to get the overall look of what I want. Okay. Now my stamp is fully covered. I'm going to stick it right there. And I think I want to make another one. Hmm. Maybe with more of a green tone towards the bottom. So 
So I'm applying more green ink to the stamp and I'm going to place that down here. Now I'm going to cut out my paper going to cover my stamps so they don't dry out also. Now that I have my paper and I have my switch plate, what I use to adhere is just simple spray mount. And what I have found works best to not get adhesive everywhere I like to take an old shoebox lid and I put my switch plate up inside it, just you know, propped up, and then I spray it down. Of course, it's clogged too. And the chance that your spray nozzle gets clogged, all I usually use is a X-Acto knife and just kind of scrape away the old adhesive. It's a good idea to clean them after you've used them so that you don't have this problem. Okay, let's see. Oh, it's still not working. I keep some extra tips around, so hopefully one of these will work just fine. Oh, there we go. Okay. So I try to evenly coat it. So evenly coating it and make sure to get on the sides too because you know you're going to wrap the paper around and then take the back side of your paper and coat it also. I give it just a few seconds to dry, you know like 30 seconds, no more than a minute so that it creates some tack and then I'm going to put them together. So I take the plate and I look and I center it so that it's there in the middle and then push it on. And I like to try to press firmly from the back side so that you get that to firmly adhere. Okay. Then next what I do I clip the little corners just a bit because when you fold the paper, it's going to turn and to get a clean edge, it really seems best to just trim them a little bit. Trim that a little bit more. Like that. Okay, so then next, what I like to do is I use the plate itself and turn it on its edge. That way you can fold back the paper. And turning it on its own edge gives it a nice clean finish. And just kind of push it to wrap it around. And I usually do the top and then the bottom and then the two sides. Okay, see that way it's all folded under so that there's no seam when it goes on the wall. 
And I have found what works best is to take a sharp edge, like a wood craft stick, and then just to go back over it and really kind of push it down and make that fine edge. It seems to keep it sharper and flat and it really makes it adhere more securely. Okay, now this is what it looks like. So from here, usually I'll let it dry a little bit, but for today's demo, I'm just going to go ahead and cut it. Uh, next, I go with an X-Acto knife, and I cut out the parts that need to be cut out. So for instance, where the switch part is here. An X-Acto knife, clean, sharp blade, and then I find to, I like to stick the X-Acto knife in and make a hole. And then I move like all the way around to cut it out. Okay. So there is that. And then I like to go back with my hands and just push that outer part in just to make sure it looks nice and clean like that. Okay. And then I like to take a mechanical pencil and where the screw holes are to where you put your light switch plate on with. I poke a hole through, and that way the paper seals really well. So, like that. And find that one, and like that. You can use whatever you'd like to, I just find a mechanical pencil works nicely. Okay, so like I mentioned before, I'm making my switch plate for a baby room. And blue, yellow, and green are the color theme that I'm staying inside. So I'm going to use some stickers. I found some interesting little glitter baby stickers and I'm going to go with that. Let's see. I really like this giraffe. So I'm going to take the giraffe and apply it down here in the corner. Oh yeah, that looks great. And then where I've put these circles, maybe I can find something that will fit right inside there. These stars look nice. We can try that. Here's a blue star. Maybe just up here. And then for down in the corner, let's see. Maybe this yellow green star. Yeah. Like that. I feel like it could use a little something more over here. It's really your discretion as to how much or how little you want to put on your plate and what look you're trying to achieve. I'm going to use this neat little stripe sticker and try that. Yeah, that feels more balanced now. There you go, like that. Now I'm gonna set this to the side and let it dry. And then we're going to go on to our electrical outlet plates to match in the same room.